I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. A growth mindset isn't just a positive way of being today. It's fundamental to achieving any level of success in the modern world. Not only does the way we live constantly change with technological advancement, but we're equally expected to adapt to change, whether at home or at work. In this video, we're going to understand about having a growth mindset and to help us, we're going to use the example of Bruce Lee, who is infamous for the incredible speech he gave during an interview to be like water. Bruce Lee is an icon to many for his films and place in history of martial arts, bringing Chinese Kung Fu to the West. However, what's important to remember and not often associated enough with him, is that he was incredibly well read and followed many principles and philosophies, notably Taoism and the idea of flow. However, before we delve deeper, we need to understand, what is a growth mindset? Often thought to be as the opposite of a fixed mindset, a growth mindset is associated with people who generally believe that with practice and effort, a skill can be developed and improved. While it doesn't mean to acknowledge that the natural talent of an activity doesn't exist, there's a general belief that people can grow to improve in a particular skill and be at the very least competent at it. Whereas a person with a fixed mindset might say, that person is a skilled dancer, Unfortunately, I'm not good at dancing. A person with a growth mindset will generally say, that person is a skilled dancer. With hard work and dedication, I can hope to aspire to be like that too. Bruce Lee very much lived his life with a growth mindset. When embarking in an activity or a task, he had an optimistic mindset in achieving his goals. He was a skilled dancer, fighter and martial artist. He would read and learn new ideas and concepts, and physically pushed himself in ways that was unheard of in popular culture at the time. One of his most lauded achievements was to be recognised as a star in the West, something which wouldn't be possible without a growth mindset. How water flows So here we go back to the idea of what it means to be like water. As Bruce Lee says, when you pour water into a cup, it becomes the cup. When you pour water in a bottle, it becomes the bottle. When you pour water in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. You see, water flows and adapts to all situations. Its fluidity is what allows for this. With the world changing being a constant, the world today forces us as individuals to adapt faster than ever before as the pace of life today and everything that comes with it being much faster. For example, I've recently had some changes in my workplace that have needed me to adapt to new working practices. At the same time, with the global pandemic equally shifting how we work and operate, the changes I've had to adapt to have been compounded. In this situation, I've seen many struggle with all the changes occurring and it seriously impacted their mental health, whereas I've generally performed well despite facing the same situation. Whereas my motivation has been led by my willingness to adapt and adjust to the needs of the changing environment around me, others haven't been able to let go of how things were previously. I maintain a growth mindset, focusing to improve where I need to improve, corroborate the strengths that people believe I have and most of all, adapt to be capable of doing what's necessary in this new environment. Bruce Lee also applied such a growth mindset in his own life, so let's look at how Bruce Lee applied the concept. I've already touched on how Bruce Lee had a growth mindset and how he adapted to changes in circumstance in his life, but where he really showcases this is in his films. Way of the Dragon is one film which showed this idea extremely well. During an end fight sequence with Chuck Norris, Bruce Lee's character initially struggles with the power of his opponent. After getting knocked down, Lee changes his approach to increase mobility in his approach, 
being able to adapt to exploit his opponent's weaknesses, while reducing his threat at the same time. This was also evident in his most famous film, Enter the Dragon, where he has the infamous fight in the Hall of Mirrors. Again, Bruce Lee's character struggles in the sequence at first, not knowing whether he's seeing his opponent or whether it's a reflection in one of the numerous mirrors. However, he adapts to the situation, breaking the mirrors so that he can tell if he's looking at a reflection, eventually overcoming his opponent. However, the best example of all is in the film he never got to finish, Game of Death. Here, he's faced with numerous fighters with varying styles, showing a fluid approach of defeating each and adapting as necessary in order to progress. In all of these examples, he showcases a growth mindset to adapt and change the circumstance to his advantage. At no point does he let the challenge in front of him hold him back or see defeat, but instead comes forward with strategies to help him improve the odds in his favour and eventually reach success. But talking about films from half a century ago, it begs the question, how does it apply today? While it's been a while since Bruce Lee made his incredible films and became an icon the world over, the message behind being like water, adapting to the needs of circumstances and living in a way that empowers you as an individual is no less relevant today than it was when he first said it. I've said it already but technological advances in our lives are a constant today and the pace of life has severely quickened. As things change, we often need to keep up, to change with them and adapt. This might mean to learn new skills or develop an understanding on a subject we previously knew nothing about. While daunting, we equally haven't lived in a time before where knowledge and learning tools are so readily available to us. However, to adapt, to change with the times, to learn and grow new skills requires you to have a growth mindset, one that's not limited by false self-beliefs, but rather one that like Bruce Lee, sets no limits to what you can accomplish in life. Do you have a growth mindset? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this, please be sure to subscribe as I'll be aiming to give you more value on the channel to help you live life on your terms.